Readings for Easter Week He's back, in John's words. Peter and John run to the tomb on pure adrenaline. John gets there first and looks in. He spots the linen cloths lying there, but he's rooted to the ground. Peter catches him up and goes straight in. He spots the linen strips and the head covering folded neatly on the side. So John follows him in, and he knows it's true. Jesus is back. But neither of them clicks that the couriers knew this was coming years before. They go back home, but Mary Magdalene is still outside the tomb, sobbing away. She leans down to look into the cave and sees two angels in their white garb, sitting where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the feet. They ask her, Lady, why the tears? They've taken my number one away, she says. I've no idea where they've put him. She turns round and sees Jesus standing there. Not that she recognises him. Lady, he says, why the tears? Who are you looking to find? She assumes he's the gardener and says, Mister, if you're the one who's cleared him out and taken him off somewhere, then tell me, I'll go and get him. Jesus just says, Mary. She knows. Coach. Jesus backs off. Don't grab onto me. I've not yet gone up to my dad. Go for me. Tell the guys I'm coming back up to my dad and your dad, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene tells the rest of the squad, I've seen Jesus. She garbles out all the strange things he said to her.